All right, so somebody asked a question about slices and arrays and what's the difference. And so in Go, uh, we don't really use arrays for programming, but arrays are used in the language. And uh, the purpose of an array is it underlies a slice. So a slice is a data structure sitting on top of an array, and it's designed to be optimized for performance, and uh, it's just easier for us to use, okay? So with slices, uh, they could expand and contract in size and length, uh, whereas like an array, you'd have to create a new array and go. Once you have an array of a certain size, that array is that size, and that's it. If you wanted a, something bigger, you got to copy everything from the old array into the new array and throw away the old one after you've made that new one. But slices will grow, grow and shrink. And so slices are built on top of arrays, and you could read about the difference by going to the Golang blog, you know, like Slice, and there's articles. Uh, there's the blog golang.org, the official website, and there's articles about slices and all that stuff, which I just, just said. But one other way that we can make a slice, so we've seen how to make a slice by doing, like, just uh, var z is a slice of int, so that was one way. And, uh, and then we did z append to z, and we could append some int, like 42, and that makes z like a slice of int with 42 in it. So that's one way for us to make, um, one way for us to make a slice. Another way that we could do make a slice would be uh, y, y colon equals uh, make a slice of int, a slice of int, and we're going to give it a length of zero and a capacity of 100. And so this is more performant, performant. And so what I have said now is I could do a format print line. And let's explore this. And I could print that out. I could do a format dot print f and do percent, percent t followed by a new line. And, uh, and we could print out that to see what its type is. And then I could also do a format dot print line, and I could do length of my slice. I could do a format dot print line, and I could do capacity of my slice. And so I'm going to add in here just the string length, and I'm going to add in the string here capacity just to remind us that that's what these things are, and I'm going to run it. So my first one printed, and I have a slice with nothing in it, and then the type printed, and it's a slice of it, and its length is 0, and its capacity is 100. So its length right there is 0. Capacity is the underlying array, the size of the underlying array. And so now as I add something to y, And if I did all that stuff again, uh, and let me just add one more new line after all this. All right, so originally length zero, now length is one because I have one element in there. So that's the length of my slice. And so if I originally started out with two, uh, capacity of two, the underlying array is size two. Well, what would happen if I started to do stuff like this? I'm just going to move this down here. And then copy that. This will be know, some other number. And then copy that. This will be some other number. So I added 14, length became 1. I added 17, length became 2, capacity is 2. I added 19, length became 3, capacity became 4. Right here, when this transaction run, ran, I tried to add one more entry into my slice 
beneath the slice is an array. The slice has two entries already, and the array has size for two. Okay, so what Go did, the runtime environment said, we don't have any room in that underlying array. We're going to take everything in the array, which was of size two, length two, that array was length two. We're going to create a new array of length four, and then we're going to copy everything that was in the old array into the new array. We're going to add the new value to that, and our slice will be pointing to that. And, uh, and now our slice has length three and capacity four. So the concept to take away, first concept, don't use arrays, use slices. Why? Slices dynamically grow. They're more performant. Beneath a slice, underlying a slice is an array. So a slice is pointing to that array, right? And uh, that, uh, that underlying array has a size. And you can set that size by right here when you, use make, when you make a slice. So you can say, oh, the, slide, the, the ray size is 100. If you had it small, then there's a performance cost right here. We had to create a new array, copy the values from the old array into the new one, throw away the old one, and you know there's a performance cost there. If you make your array big enough, then you know you can store values without creating a new underlying array because you got that room in that underlying array. Anyhow, it's a it's just a subtlety, a nuance of the language, but that's what length does, and slice has, or that's what make does, and slice has a length and a capacity. This is the length of the slice. This is the length of the underlying array, and uh, that's just one more way to make a slice. So just to review how we will be using slices, and that's just good for you to know about, but to review how we'll be using slices, we had two hands-on assignments, and I'll show you how to do those in the next video.